What an asshole. So I was only interesting as long as I fulfilled his incubus lust for sex? Clearly, there was no need to bore him by ever speaking to him again. The miserable fucker could have silence. I clenched my jaw, trying to master my anger as we walked through the dark city streets slightly west of my parents' place. When we finally crossed into Mortana's old apartment building, the human male who opened the door for me was a welcome sight. He grinned at me. His hair was as red as mine, and a smattering of freckles flecked his nose. I crossed into the hall, my gaze roaming over the grandeur of the lobby. It was like an ancient, luxurious hotel, the floors tiled with blue and amber. Golden stone arches stretched high above us, and a staircase curved up to the mezzanine where I'd find my apartment. My gaze drifting upward, I stared at the seductive image of Lilith and the snake curled around her body painted on the ceiling. (sighs) Ah. I turned back to the human. Good to be home. He beamed at me. Lady Mortana. I wasn't sure you'd return, but I did hope I could tell my girlfriend I'd met you. I've just started my internship here. He glanced down at the ground. Sorry, I'm not supposed to speak to you. Internship. In other words, the demons had convinced him to work for free. Orion would probably point out again that the demons learned their most evil shit from the mortals. I flicked my hair over my shoulder, like Mortana would. I suppose you can speak, mortal, since this weird stalker looming behind me isn't worth talking to. His eyes darted between us. <laughs> okay, well... It was probably occurring to him that he, as doorman, should reject the stalker, except the stalker was six feet plus of pure muscle and ferocity. Doorman, don't worry about that, idiot. I'll have coffee in the morning. I gazed over his shoulder at a fire extinguisher on the wall. Did you bring that here? The mortal glanced back at it. Just looking out for this beautiful old building, since, you know... He gestured to me, probably referencing my firepower. I could send this whole place up in flames at any moment. Right. I arched an eyebrow. Nervous about fires, are you? He nodded vigorously. Mortals can actually die from it. There are no fire alarms, and the building is definitely not up to code. Is there anything else you need, Lady Mortana? I cocked my head, studying him. His suit looked expensive, but he hadn't gotten the hang of ironing his clothes properly because his white shirt was wrinkled. Obviously, he wasn't used to dressing up. Had I seemed such a mess when I'd been mortal?